Our next guest has a big problem with the trans agenda targeting autistic children. Joining us now to discuss, film composer, artist, and YouTuber, Stephen Hilton. Stephen, thanks for being back with us. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. So I know this hit very close to home for you, especially. Can you tell us why this is such an important issue for you, Stephen? Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it couldn't be more emotionally connected for me. I'm, but my little boy uh, was diagnosed as severely autistic a couple of years ago. And subsequent to that, I got diagnosed uh, with autism. And it made a lot of sense to like a lot, had a lot of struggles growing up with just sort of socially and stuff like that. And it made a lot of sense. So I've really like become a part of this community quite strongly in the last year or so. Yeah, I would imagine that is a shocking realization. And, and to be grouped into this, this category must just be insulting. Like, who are these people that tell you that you're just a part of this? Why does autism have anything to do with the transgender flag, right? I mean, what's, what do they say is the connection here? Why do the two have to be connected? I'm just so angry about this because it's very obvious to me that they're targeting autistic kids because they see them as an easy target, which, by the way, isn't true. But it's like a, it's a very lazy, kind of predictable a tactic for them to use, like to look at like who's the easiest, who can we influence the most? Oh, yeah, autistic kid people because they're most they're highly susceptible to this sort of ideology. And it's really worrying because I don't want them to park autistic kids into medicalization for the rest of their lives. Each autistic, each transitioning kid generates $2 million for Big Pharma because they're parked into that system for life. Then possibly, you know, gender mutilation. It's, it's awful and it's, it's scary and it makes me so angry that they've gone after this community. Yeah, it is. It is awful, absolutely. And and we know that there's been a drastic rise in transgenderism, uh, especially in recent months and years. And uh, now doctors like Peter McCullough are saying there is uh, quite a correlation between um, autism and those that claim to be transgender. So you're right. It, it does seem like uh, this ideology is being pushed onto that specific group uh, because they might be susceptible to believing this stuff and, and hearing um, you know, about this woke ideology that is easy to push on to people who, um, you know, might not fully understand the spectrum of it. So it's very scary. It's especially scary for, I think, parents in California who are at risk if they don't affirm their kids' chosen gender now. I mean, what are your thoughts on this? It's, when I saw that, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, this, this uh, new law where if you don't affirm your kids' A gender identity, they can put them into care. It's absolutely sickening. It's just sickening. I cannot believe it's happening. It's like an Orwellian nightmare, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but one thing, one thing I wanted to say about autistic kids, just to just to put it out there, is that it's that very often my belief is that autistic people and especially kids have like some kind of thing that they're super interested in and they're super focused on, and it can become a career like music did for me. And that's what they're interested in. And they struggle with social. They struggle with how do I fit into society? And I just wanted to make it clear that that's where they're, they're at risk because mm -hmm. that struggling socially, where do I fit in, which is very common for autistic kids, mm -hmm. is what they're going after. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. That's a great point. Stephen, do you think there is a way to fight back against this a growing cultural affliction? I mean, how do we tell the people behind this movement to stop coming for the kids? This is a big thing that I'm on right now is like, I want to get as many people into the conversation as possible. That's why like on my Instagram, I'm, I'm getting, I'm accepting uh, like suggestions for videos and things to focus on on Instagram. And I'm making, I'm going to start making videos that people really want, like injustices that are being perpetrated in the world. I want to start talking about it and being more I'm going to go harder. I'm, personally, I'm going to go way harder now they're coming after autistic kids. Way harder. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.